everybody welcome back to my channel today i am finally filming an update for the spider surgery of my h david bowie that got stuck in a mold and also a taxidermy update for both bubbles my aphonopilmus mani and my dead leaf mantis both of which have been preserved in silica for a couple months now and we are going to finish that taxidermy process i'm also going to be preserving one of the ogre face spiders the dinopus spinosa unfortunately if you remember in that unboxing video I was told that one of them was not going to live very long. Tom warned me that this one is just kind of like not doing too well. Like he told me not to expect to have this one for long and you may be asking like Kat why did you want it if you're not going to have it for long? One because they're cool and two because I want to obviously preserve it. I've never preserved in resin before so at the end of this video we're going to go ahead and like give that a little shot. I'm not really sure how it's going to go but yeah we have a lot to cover. Oh yeah and also really quick check out my new zip hoodie. You guys have asked me so many times for a hoodie that zips and this does zip and it's actually like really really soft on the inside and yeah it's actually really comfortable and really soft and then also this isn't even the best part. It has Igor on the back, and I also have another that has Salem on the back. Yeah, I really like it. So if you want to get one, I will link them down below. Good call, you guys. I really, I really like this, even though my hair always gets stuck in zippers. So we got stuff to do. Let's go do it. Okay, so first let's talk about the H. David Bowie. As you see, unfortunately, it did pass away. I kind of wanted to give it time to see if it would recover. Unfortunately, um, it did, well, it did make a few steps and it kind of seemed like there was just a little bit of hope because it did eat some fruit flies. As expected, it didn't make it long term. It did make it for a little bit, but not long term. And that's kind of what I was worried about. So that's really unfortunate that, uh, it did not recover, but it was, you know, of course expected. Next, this is the Spinosa that unfortunately also was not expected to live very long. I've never done resin before, so this is gonna be an experience. It might not turn out, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. And yeah, so I've just had it in the fridge and this isn't how I'm gonna pose it, I don't think, but again, I'm just trying this for the first time. However, first we are going to be posing the tarantula tag taxidermy and my mantis that I tried drying out. I'm not really sure how the mantis is gonna be. Kind of don't think it will turn out very good, but the tarantula should be in pretty good shape because I did check on it about a month ago and it did look like it was going in the right direction. So we're gonna see if they're ready. And if they are, we're gonna go ahead and mount them. And I'm really nervous. Let's just get this over with and see if I have failed you all and myself, <laughs> but no pressure. Okay. Wow, the mantis actually looks really good. It it seems dried out. I'm actually surprised. I'm kind of wondering though if this abdomen is like Oh, it's actually like rock hard, you guys. It's like, wow, I did not drain this. So I was actually really anxious on how it would turn out because I kind of felt like maybe I should have like drained it. This is gonna be actually really cool. So now let's check on bubbles. Of course, this is the main one everybody's been asking about. And there she is looking pretty good. I mean, she's definitely not as blue as she was when she was alive. Again, kind of you expect them to lose color, but she's looking good. I don't smell anything. She's been in the silica about two months now and if you guys remember and you watched that video we actually did remove the guts and we stuffed her with cotton both in the carapace and the abdomen. So I'm going to actually take all these uh, little needles out. I've got some super glue here. We're gonna see how it goes. All right let's remove these. Oh no! We're gonna have to super glue a pedipalp back on. No! Oh man, I gotta be more careful taking these off. She is brittle, like super brittle. The pressure is now on. Oh my God, she's just like so brittle. I gotta get the rest of these little silica beads off. Here we are, she's super dried out, like super duper duper dried out. Definitely feels preserved, like she's not gonna rot, like everything is like 
how it's gonna stay. Um, but like I said, super duper brittle. So let's go ahead and try to fix this really quick with some super glue. So this is the back of the shadow box I'm going to be displaying her in. And I'm actually just going to directly glue her onto it. I'm gonna have to like glue her down and then do this. We're gonna move fast, you guys, because I don't know if you can tell, but she's losing little hairs and we do not want her to be nakey. Oh man, I'm so scared I'm gonna get glued to her. Uh, 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 oh no! Okay, she's gonna have to go there because I, I spilled it. I spilled it, so she's gonna be off-centered, okay? You know what? Oh no, I'm glued to it! Stop it! It's fine, it's fine. We're not professionals here, okay? Everyone's gonna make fun of me because it's not centered. Okay, all right. Thank you. Clean up these hairs as best we can. All right, I'm gonna set her aside and then we're going to put the mantis in the the box that I got for it. Fortunately, we are not going to be using super glue for this one, but we have to be super careful because these wings are so fragile right now. Oh my God, it's like, it's like a literal piece of tissue paper. Yeah, like it, like it will easily crack, I'm so nervous. Gotta be so careful. This is actually the case that I got for it. I like the padding because it'll give room for the abdomen. So incredibly fragile, but look at her. Oh my God, she looks amazing. I am so impressed. Th uh, that is sick. Should I do her this way or that? Let's do her uh, this way. You wanna show her face first. Yeah, that's, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm actually super proud of this. That is so cool. This is literally the coolest. Oh my God, <laughs> I love it. And then it comes with these little things on the side. I just got this little box off Amazon and I think it was like $10 or something like that. If you're like looking to preserve like um, anything, this is super cool. Perfect, it's glass too. We're gonna go work on the resin for the ogre face and then we'll come back to this later. Look who's watching us. Yeah, you guys, this is what I had the ogre face spider in, the D spinosa that we are preserving. But yeah, I actually gave the enclosure to my little jumper who has really utilized this enclosure a lot. So it's her little, she goes, in, she goes in, yeah, <laughs> she goes in there every night and then she webbed up all this. That is what is going on with that enclosure. Okay, so now we're just going to mix up the resin and we're doing it obviously outside because it's going to probably smell. <laughs> do we just pour it into this or do we put the spider in first? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a small layer down first. And, and then we put the spider in and then we pour more on top. Right. I already see bubbles in it, so. <laughs> it's gonna have bubbles. <laughs> it's gonna have bubbles. Okay, do you smell it now? Yeah, it, it's not, it's not as, strong as I've smelt before. You can get it ready while I'm trying to pop these. Ah, uh, is that safe? Ish. Is it working? Yeah, it's popping. Okay. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Let me see. There we go. That's actually fine. I've never done clear casting. I've done fiberglassing. Not clear casting. I mean, it looks cool. Either way, I think it's gonna be cool, even if it sucks <laughs> by the professional standards. But this is how we learn, so we can get better with time. Okay, so we are going to let this sit for a while, and I will update you guys on uh, how long it takes. So this is the shadow box I got her, and I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit because I think I got little phalange prints all over. We'll just wipe this down. All right, so I think she should be dry. Yeah, well, okay, she's not fully dry. I'm gonna go ahead and pop her in here though, and then I'll lay her flat for the rest of the night. Oh my gosh, please do not fall off. Flip, oh, oh my God, she looks so little in here. Okay. That's not that bad. I thought it was gonna look worse cause it's so like off the center, but actually it looks pretty cool. I will say I could have probably done a much smaller um, shadow box, but I'm not really the best with size, like estimations, so my bad. But like I said, I'm going to lay her flat and let her finish drying. Not bad at all. Okay, so it is the next day and this is not completely hard yet. It's still a little tacky, but 
it's coming along. It's a pretty good size and Again, it's not perfect. Can see that there's like kind of bubbles in there, but I gotta admit, I'm actually pretty impressed. As you see though, it did shift a little bit while it was drying. I'm not really sure how you would prevent that from happening. There was like no way that I could pose it. Like it was just, I don't know, I don't know. I'm sure there's gotta be a trick to it though, but Regardless, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along and it should be completely dry by like tomorrow. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how it was, uh, how it was going. And I, I don't know, would you say this is a success? I think it's a success, but you let me know. Again, I know it's not perfect, but uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like if you did, subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I'm in the scam that I use probably way too much is at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. There is a new podcast episode. I will link all of this. There's so much to link, but yeah. <laughs> Check the description box. That's where I put the stuff. So anyway, stay tuned and stay well, and we will be back here very soon. <laughs>